All right, we're gonna trim up one of these cups we threw yesterday. I love these just soft pads. When you get used to them, you can center. And then if you just put a little pressure here, they're not gonna go anywhere and it's real easy to trim. First thing you wanna do actually is just feel, you know, one hand on the bottom, one hand on the inside and feel how thick your bottom is. You get used to it eventually. You know approximately how much you need to take off. And what we're going for is a ring something like this. All right. So hold it in place with one hand. Again, I'm locking my fingers together so they work in concert. And I have a mirror behind the phone, so not only can I see what I'm recording, but I can see the shape of my cup. And I like it when there's a really balanced feel between the width and the foot, because if the foot is too wide, the piece can look kind of heavy. And if obviously it's too small, then it's going to tip over. So you have to get that to a pleasing golden rule width. And I think that might be a little different for everyone, even though it's the golden rule, two to three, I think that was. It's nice to give this a little bit of a soft edge, otherwise those areas can chip kind of easily. All right, how does that look? How's that balance? Sometimes what I do is I actually kind of put my fingers like this and I think, oh, does that look better? Does that look too wide? Does that look better? Yeah, I think I could take off just a tiny bit more and it'll look even better. Take off just a tiny bit more. And I like to go in just a little bit on my foot here. That way if the glaze does run a little, it'll catch it. All right, once you've got that part, the outside done, obviously you need to make the inside ring. So put your piece back down. You already felt it, you know approximately how much you need to take off. And on this one, I think I need to take off about, oh, half a centimeter. I start with an outside ring, and then I'm gonna trim away this middle part. And I like to give it a little bit of a dome because that's the shape on the inside. All right, let's keep going. You want to round this off just a little bit so it doesn't scratch up any tableware. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And then it's, of course, good to get one of your little gummies here and smooth that even more. You can burnish it just a little bit so that that is just baby butt smooth. Whoa. So there you go. There's your ring and then we will go ahead and add a handle later. Thanks for watching. Happy potting!